hello uh, welcome to this lecture on the discussion of uh, uh, some multiple choice questions from the electrochemistry topic so this is question number one so question number one is the equivalent conductance the equivalent conductance of uh, of an aqueous solution of an aqueous solution of calcium chloride at 300 Kelvin is 1.5 into 10 power minus 2 gram equivalent whole inverse semen centimeter square the molar conductance of the solution at 300 Kelvin is okay so equivalent conductance is given and uh, uh, molar conductance we need to identify okay so we represent equivalent conductance with a symbol lambda equivalent conductance for an electrolyte solution is given which is 1.5 into 10 to the power minus 2 semen centimeter square gram equivalent whole inverse this is the unit of equivalent conductance and we need to identify what is the molar conductance of the solution what is the molar conductance yeah so how to identify this we know very well equivalent conductance is nothing but uh, since it is given in uh, centimeter unit okay so this is the formula for equivalent conductance equivalent conductance equal to 1000 into kappa by normality of the solution okay this is the formula for equivalent conductance and we know very well normality is nothing but molarity into n factor normality is equal to molarity into n factor so if I replace this n by this uh, term this quantity I'll get 1000 into kappa by molarity into n factor and we know that this 1000 kappa by molarity this 1000 kappa by molarity is nothing but molar conductance molar conductance and we have uh, this n factor in the denominator okay or we can say molar conductance is equal to bring this uh, n factor to the left hand side so we can write n factor into equivalent conductance this is the relationship between molar conductance and the equivalent conductance of a particular uh, solution very specifically strong electrolyte now equivalent conductance is given okay lambda equivalent is, uh, is given and if you know n factor you can calculate the molar conductance calcium chloride is the uh, electrolyte given since it is a salt for salt okay it's a salt so for salt you know very well n factor is nothing but the total positive charge okay or the total negative charge in one neutral molecule so in one neutral molecule what is the total positive charge calcium ion carry 2 plus charge so n factor is 2 we should consider only magnitude n factor is always a magnitude you need not consider minus plus and all okay so uh, n factor for this uh, salt is 2 therefore you can calculate molar conductance as molar conductance equal to n factor is 2 and equivalent conductance is 1.5 times 10 power minus 2 so if you multiply you'll get 3.0 into 10 power minus 2 um, semen centimeter square since it is molar conductance the unit is mole inverse mole inverse okay so this is the answer for this question so the correct option uh, if you see the options option a is 3 into 10 power minus 3 is there in option b 10 power minus 4 in option c 10 power minus 1 so in option d we have 3 into 10 power minus 2 so for this question the correct option is D okay this is the answer right now let me go to the next question question number 2 yeah question number 2 in question number 2 uh, st standard potential E naught means standard potential standard potential of a reaction aluminum 3 plus ion gay uh, gaining 3 electron and become aluminium reduction reaction is given 
and the standard potential for this reduction reaction is minus 1.66 volt. If the concentration of aluminium ion is 0.1 molarity, 0.1 molarity, then the reduction potential of the reaction at 25 degrees Celsius is close to. Okay, so what is given is for this reaction, aluminium 3 plus ion gaining 3 electron. Okay, gives aluminium. For this reaction, standard potential is given which is minus 1.66 volt. Okay, we need to identify uh, potential, we need to identify the potential for the same reaction. They are asking only reduction potential. Okay, they are asking reduction potential for the same reaction, right, at 25 degrees Celsius and the concentration of aluminium 3 plus ion is given which is 0 0.1 molarity. Right, this problem is actually a very simple problem. Uh, by using Nernst equation, you can directly find out the reduction potential. Okay, so according to Nernst equation, Nernst equation, you know very well, and the temperature is given at uh, 25 degrees Celsius. Right, so at 25 degrees Celsius, the electrode potential or the reduction potential E is equal to standard reduction potential which is given E naught minus at 25 degrees Celsius it is 0 0.059 divided by number of electrons transferred into uh, log base 10. Uh, here uh, in the right hand side we have solid aluminium. For solid aluminium activity is 1 and in the left hand side we have aluminium 3 plus ion concentration is given so it is 0 0.1 molarity okay therefore the standard reduction potential value is given minus 1.66 okay standard reduction potential value is given minus 1.66 then minus i'll take this value roughly as 0 0.06 divided by three electrons uh, are transferred so here n is 3 into log base 10 uh, 0 0.1 means 10 power minus 1. 0 0.1 is nothing but 10 power minus 1. If 10 power minus 1 comes to numerator, it will become 10 power plus 1. So, you will get log 10 power uh, plus 1 or you know your log 10 base 10 value is 1. So, this value equal to 1. Therefore, the answer is minus 1.66 minus uh, if you cancel this one, you will get 0 0.02. Right? This value become 1. So, both are minus signs, so just add them, you will get minus 1.68 volt. This is the uh, reduction potential for this reaction. right? If you see the options, in option A it is given minus 1.64, option B minus 1.66, option C 0, option D minus 1.68 volt, so that should be the correct answer. So for this question, the correct answer is option D. Okay. Now let me go to the next question. Question number 3, the oxidation potential, yeah, question number 3, uh, yeah, the oxidation potential of an hydrogen electrode, pressure given as 1 bar at 25 degrees Celsius for a solution having activity of H plus ion 0 0.001 molarity is, okay, oxidation potential, right, yeah, see, uh, question number 3 oxidation potential of hydrogen electrode is given. You know very well, when hydrogen electrode, if oxidation reaction occurs at hydrogen electrode, then this is the reaction, that is hydrogen gas, I will take off moles of hydrogen gas, okay, giving H plus ion in aqueous medium plus electron. This is the oxidation reaction, right, when the, uh, when hydrogen electrode, right, uh, acts as anode. When hydrogen electrode acts as anode, the oxidation reaction will occur. This is the oxidation reaction. Now, uh, here activity is given for H plus ion. The activity is 0 0.001 molarity. Okay, now we need to calculate the oxidation potential. Oxidation potential is the potential for this reaction, right? So, oxidation potential is equal to, as per Nernst equation, we can write oxidation potential equal to standard oxidation potential of this reaction minus uh, temperature is given 25 degrees Celsius, zero, therefore we can write 0 0.059 or roughly 0 0.06 divided by number of electron transferred, one electron 
log base 10 uh, activity of h plus ion is uh, 0 0.001 that can be written as 10 power minus 3 and pressure of hydrogen gas is given as 1 bar okay so for hydrogen gas whenever gas involved you should put the concentration in terms of pressure since pressure is given as 1 bar okay so you should put 1 here right and uh, applying power rule for logarithmic power rule you can bring this minus 3 in front therefore and you know very well for hydrogen electrode standard oxidation potential as well as standard reduction potential both are 0 okay for standard hydrogen electrode she right standard oxidation potential as well as standard reduction potential both are 0 it is arbitrarily assumed to be 0 okay therefore uh, the val this value is 0 minus minus or minus become plus 0 0.06 into this 3 and here you will get log 10 base 10 become 1 so if you multiply you will get 0 0.18 volt this is the answer for question number 3 so if you go through the options yeah see option C is the correct option in option C we have uh, plus 0 0.18 volt okay then uh, question number 4 arrange the following species in the increasing order of its reducing character that is as a reducing agent which is strong reducing agent which is uh, weak reducing agent or le uh, powerful reducing agent or less powerful reducing agent how to identify so this is question number 4 right in question number 4 uh, 4 species are given and their reduction potential is also given A B C D reduction potential for A is minus 1.3 volt reduction potential for B is minus 1.8 volt this is minus 0 0.08 volt and this one is plus 1.25 volt okay now we need to identify uh, the uh, which is strong reducing agent which is weak reducing agent since these are all reduction potential standard reduction potentials okay these values are standard reduction potential values therefore uh, listen uh, strength of reducing agent right a reducing ability reducing character reducing character or reducing strength of, of a reducing agent reducing strength of a reducing agent is directly proportional to the standard reduction potential uh, I am sorry uh, reducing character it is inversely proportional to standard reduction potential okay it is inversely proportional it is inversely proportional to standard reduction potential so if reduction potential is high then reducing character will be less if you compare these values listen positive value shows the highest reduction potential so species D has highest reduction potential that means it will undergo reduction readily but you know very well a reducing agent should undergo oxidation okay whereas here D will undergo reduction readily therefore D is supposed to be the least reducing agent here least then among these three okay we have negative sign in front therefore lower number should be the highest value so minus 0 0.08 is the next higher value which has less so compared to D it is somewhat more then among these two okay this is less so A should come front then the highest one is B because it has more negative potential okay if reduction potential is more negative then that species can act as a good reducing agent okay so this is the order of the uh, reducing ability of these reducing agents right as per the reduction potential values so if you compare the options uh, in op option A, A is given highest so it is wrong option B, A is given highest it is wrong option D yes option D B value is given yes now I'll compare B A I'll, I'll just uh, go through the options yeah so uh, option C exactly matches with this answer therefore the correct option for this question is option C okay it is very simple question and keep this in mind reducing power of the reducing agent is inversely proportional to the reduction po standard reduction potential of that species right then let me go to the next question question number five solubility product of silver chloride 
at 25 degrees Celsius is given 1.16 into 10 power minus 10. The maximum amount of silver chloride that can be dissolved in as solubility product is given in uh, in which of these solvent or in which of the solution okay silver chloride can be dissolved in maximum amount right in water yes we can dissolve to some extent uh, in 0.1 molar sodium chloride see silver chloride has a common ion chloride ion okay here also we have chloride ion so due to common ion effect okay solubility of silver chloride in 0.1 molar sodium chloride solution will be less okay so what i'm trying to say for question number uh, for question number 5 listen solubility will be low right in the case of uh, 0.1 molar sodium chloride because of 0.1 molar sodium chloride because of common ion effect sodium chloride similarly if you see option c yes here also you have silver ion silver ion as well as chloride ion so we have two common ions here we have two common ions so common ion effect will be uh, even more compared to this okay therefore i can say 0.1 molar silver uh, uh, yeah i'm very sorry this is supposed to be silver nitrate yeah so this is not silver chloride okay this is supposed to be silver nitrate okay so let us take this as silver nitrate if it is silver nitrate then due to common ion effect solubility will be less even for silver nitrate so uh, so this option c right is not silver chloride okay it, it should it should be silver nitrate therefore 0.1 molar sodium chloride 0.1 molar silver nitrate both these solutions have common ion therefore solubility of the silver chloride in these two solutions will be less okay solubility will be less in these two solutions whereas solubility if you compare in water yes solubility in uh, pure water will be more compared to these two but if you go to ammonia solution option d is ammonia solution in ammonia silver chloride will react okay silver chloride solid will react in ammonia with ammonia and form diamine complex and form a diamine complex and this complex is highly soluble soluble in water freely soluble in water i can use the word it is freely soluble in water therefore more amount of silver chloride dissolves if you add silver chloride in ammonia solution it keep on dissolves why because silver chloride reacts with ammonia and form a complex that complex is freely soluble right therefore solubility of silver chloride will be maximum right in ammonia solution okay so this is the order keep this in mind right yeah i stop here uh, we'll uh, discuss some more questions okay in the forthcoming lectures thank you